Hello to all my viewers. My topic today is about conversion. This is conversion from fraction to decimal to percentage or percent. Or this will be vice versa. Okay, let's start. Number one, express each fraction as a percent. We know that percent is always 100%. So number one, 7 over 8. What is the percent of 7 over 8? I will teach you how to solve this one in the simplest way. If percent, we know that this is 100%, so this will be always multiplied by 100%. And then, we will apply cross cancellation. So, cross cancellation, we have to find the GCF. GCF of 8 and 100. So, what is the GCF of 108? That can be divide 8 and 100. So, this will be divided by 4. 100 divided by 4 is 25. And then, 8 divided by 4 equals 2 so this is 25 and then divided by 4 this is 2 then I have to multiply this one 7 times 25 so 25 times 7 this is 35 carry 3 2 times 7 is 14 plus 3 is 17 so I have here 175 percent over 2. Now what is 175% over 2? So 175 divided by 2. So I will use 17 to divide 2. So how many 2's do I have in 17? So estimate because this is not exact. So say 8 should be in line column 7. So 8 times 2 is 16. 7 minus 6 is 1, then bring down 5. Now, what is 15 divided by 2? Or how many 2 do I have in 15? So, estimate again. So, this will be 7. 7 times 2 is 14. Then, 5 minus 4 is 1. Then, I need to put 0 in here, and then bring down 0, and then that in here. So, how many 2 do I have in 10? So, I have 5. So, 5 times 2 is 10. That would be 0. So, therefore, this will be equal to 87.5%. That's for number 1. Now, let's go to number 2. Nine over 2 again this is percent so multiply by 100 percent and then apply cross cancellation so find the gcf between 100 and 2 this is divided by 2 this is 1 100 divided by 2 is 50 so i have now 9 times 50 percent so what is 9 times 5 this is 45 and then just copy the zero so I have 450% for number 2. Now let's move to number 3. Number 3 is a kind of mixed number. 5, 1 over 2. So let us resolve this one to improper fraction. So how to resolve this one to improper fraction? First we have to copy in here 2 which is our denominator and then this one multiply by the whole number 2 times 5 is 10 then plus 1 is 11 so I have here 11 over 2 this is now the improper fraction and then multiply because this is percent multiply by 100% again I will apply cross cancellation this one will be divided by 2 this one is divided by 2 this is 50 then I have to multiply 11 11 times 50%. So what is 11? 
or 50 times 11. This will be 0, 1 times 5 is 5, 1 times 0 is 0, 1 times 5 is 5. So bring down 0, 5, 5. So I have here for number 3, 550%. Let us move to number 4. Number 4 is 15 over 100. So what I said, if this is percent, we always multiply by 100%. So, apply cross cancellation. So we will divide this one by 100. This is 1. Divide by 100. This is 1. And then multiply 15 times 1. 15 times 1%. So 15 times 1 is equal to 15%. So that is for number 4. Now let's move to another question. Express each percent. We will change the instruction. Each percent. as a fraction okay number one twelve percent okay this one is from percent to fraction okay so how to uh, solve this one twelve percent to fraction convert this percent to fraction so all you have to do is you have to divide by one hundred percent and then cross out the symbol percentage so you have now 12 over 100 and then take note that we have to reduce to lowest term so we have to find our gcf between 12 and 10 so what is the gcf between 12 and 100 sorry so the gcf of 12 and 100 is 4 so 12 divided by 4 is equal to 3 and then 100 divided by 4 is 25. So I have here, for number 1 is 3 over 25. Let's proceed to number 2. 30%. So convert this one to fraction. Divide by 100%. Then cross out the symbol. Then 30 over 100. Cross out the 0. So I have here 3 over 10. Let's go to number 3. Number 3. 160%. Again, divide by 100%. Cross out the percent. Cross out 0. So I have here 16 over 10. Then reduce to lowest term. Find the GC between 16 and 10. So this will be 2, 16 divided by 2 is 8, and then 10 divided by 2 is 5. So that's the fraction. Or we can use, we can solve this one because this is improper. So 8 divided by 5. So how many 5 are there in 8? 1 times 5, take away, this is 3. So I have here 1. And then 3 over 5. That's all.